Hello friends, I have a doctor's appointment in Eagle River today, so I figured this would be a good chance to take you around Eagle River. So I'm gonna head into my appointment and then I will attempt to give you a full tour of the city that we live in. We have some fun holiday plans tonight that we wanna bring you along with, so let's head to the doctor and then we'll get this tour started. The temperature has dropped, the snow is gone, it is clear, which means cold. First, I have to wait for this fog to get off of my windows. It is about nine degrees right now. My phone this morning when I woke up said negative four. So the temperatures dropped dramatically after the snowstorm and now it's just cold. If you saw my recent video about going to the mall, I drove from Eagle River to Anchorage and played tour guide along the way and showed you what there was. Well, today we are just going to drive around the city of Eagle River and I'll tell you what stores we have, what amenities we have. We might make a few stops along the way. The city of Eagle River has a population of about 25,000 people, whereas the Anchorage population is about 288,000 people. So it is a much smaller community, but we are part of the Anchorage School District. We share the same like trash pickup and things like that. So there are things that attach us to Anchorage, but there are also things that make us our own city of Eagle River. When I drove to the doctor this morning, it was quite foggy, but I'm hoping that some of that fog has lifted. It feels foggy behind me, but it looks like there might be some sunshine ahead of me so we can see the beautiful mountains. One of the things we love about Eagle River is the beautiful Chugach Mountains that are behind us, so I hope we get to see some of those today. And then we are on the inlet on the other side. So we have ocean on one side. It's not very accessible. It's mud flat, so there's not really like a nice beach to walk on, but we do have ocean on one side and mountains on the other. I should have used my remote start, I forgot. Okay, as you can see on the left, we have ice fog. On the right, we have beautiful mountains. We are just come off the highway, the north entrance of Eagle River. Fred Meyer, the grocery store is to our left, but that's where we're gonna end our trip today. So I am getting on to the old Glen Highway. This used to be the main highway that went through, but then they built the new Glen Highway. This now became the old Glen Highway. And this is the main road that goes through Eagle River. On the right hand side is my car wash. We'll probably hit that up at the very end when I can go home. Throughout town here, we have just many different office buildings. There's dent lots of dental offices, several restaurants. On my left hand side here is the Planet Fitness Gym, which is like the lower budget gym. They just opened up a couple years ago and it's a really nice gym. Um, no kids allowed, it's a 13 and older gym. Then we have like a car parts store, Napa Auto. We have a Oopsie Daisy florist and several other like little local shops and um, services throughout town. Wow, it is gorgeous out this sunrise. It's about 1130 right now and it's just barely making it up over the mountains. On the right hand side we have Panda Express and on the left hand side we have Carl's Jr. So I will show you some of the fast food options we have here in Eagle River. Now on the right we have Taco Bell and we're going to take a right hand turn here. This is called the Business Boulevard Loop and this has a lot of the different shopping options here in Eagle River. On the right hand side we have Subway and a nail salon, Mike's Quality Meats, and a laundromat. We also have the UPS store and Speedy Glass if you need to get your glass replaced. And we have a thing called Pet Zoo here. It's an Alaska owned company where you can buy pet supplies. Over on the right hand side is our community park for Eagle River. A lot of events happen over there. I'm gonna turn into this parking lot here. This is the Alaska Club, which is a fancier family gym. There is a swimming pool in there. 
it is a lot more expensive. Planet Fitness is like 10 to $20 a month. This is more like 100 to $200 a month to be part of the Alaska Club, but it does have branches all over the state of Alaska. On the right-hand side of this building where I'm turning right now is our branch of the public library, the Anchorage Public Library. So this is where we come if we wanna get books. We also have our municipal offices in this building. And then this building straight ahead it has a couple businesses and a restaurant, a Mexican restaurant. I'm not sure what it's called. I can't keep all the Mexican restaurant <laughs> names uh, straight. So, oh, I thought that I was going to be able to get out over here and it's totally, oh, uh, usually you can drive through this, but it has become blocked by snow. So we're going to have to turn and go out a different way. This is pretty typical right now with all this snow. A lot of the parking lots have become snow mazes. On the right hand side here is a big Christmas tree. It's also an ice skating rink if we didn't have all this snow. They have not plowed it yet. This is where they have the Eagle River Town Square Christmas tree lighting. A lot of schools come and sing and have Santa come on the 1st of December. It's also a sledding hill and just part of our Anchorage Park. We have several banks along the way here. This have an animal hospital here. Then we have a storage unit. We need to have some extra storage. They have indoor storage so that you can store things in the warm, that they don't have to keep them outside in the cold. And then we have another bank. On our left hand side here is the Eagle River Post Office. And oh my goodness, look at those mountains. They look gorgeous. We are actually gonna pull into the post office here and we will check our PO box for the day. Trying to keep on top of these beautiful Christmas cards you guys are sending us so that I can get them back out to all of you. It is a bit tricky right now, as you notice, all these berms on the side of the road are really, really high. And so it makes driving a little bit tricky to see people. Oh my goodness, I hope you guys can see that view of the mountains because, whoo, it's beautiful. There is a backup here at the post office. Busy, busy. Hopefully we can find a parking spot. The parking lot has definitely shrunk since they plowed the snow. Ooh, we're gonna get a parking right ahead, right here, right here. The other day when I came to the post office, I had to drive through three times before I found a spot. So it's our lucky day. Let's go check the PO box real quick. This is our Eagle River post office. Oh, just a few cards today. I have found that if I come earlier in the day, there's not much in the P.O. box. They don't have a ton of workers right now, so often they do all the P.O. boxes and stuff later in the evening. So if I come back maybe tomorrow morning, it'll be full, because I did see that there was supposed to be more than this in the P.O. box, but that's okay. Oh, it's cold. It's really cold. Oh, it says negative two. Whew. This whole area on the left used to be parking spots and it's now full of snow. So there's really limited parking here at the post office, which is tricky at this very busy time of year. Oh, they're like making parking spots all over the place that are not real parking spots. Okay, we're having to get creative. Okay, we're gonna take a left and finish this business boulevard loop. right hand side here is a coffee stand. These little coffee stands are very, very common here in Alaska. You just drive up and get your coffee. I'll point out a couple more because they're all over the place. On the left hand side here is Car Safeway, a grocery store. I do not almost ever shop there. I'm going to take a right here 
in front of us, there's a local bookshop called The Bookshelf. There's a cleaners. There is a local coffee place called Jitters. Jitters is probably like the most famous Eagle River coffee place. I don't know, most popular place is maybe what I'm trying to say. The local coffee place that has then a store attached to it called Picture This, which always has really pretty home decor items, gift items, things like that. This view is just beautiful. I'm so glad the fog lifted so that we could see this view. On the left-hand side, we have a Shell gas station, 384 for gas right now at that. We have a Brown Jug liquor store. That's a common liquor store here in Alaska, all over Anchorage. It's called Brown Jug. Not something that I'm familiar with. We do not drink alcohol, but thought I'd point it out. Now, if we were to go straight here, we would go back to the Glen Highway. We've kind of looped our way around back to the highway. This is the South Eagle River exit. There are three exits to get into Eagle River. This is the middle one, but we are gonna take a left and go up the mountain. This is called Eagle River Road. Oh, it looks like we're driving back into the fog over here. This is a valley going up, and this is the valley that the Eagle River, actual river, runs down. On the right hand side, we have the firehouse for Eagle River. That's where our fire trucks come from. Let's see if we get any views up here. It's usually gorgeous as you drive up this road. This is one of my favorite places to drive to see the mountains, but I'm not sure we're going to get a view of it today, but the trees look beautiful covered in snow and thankfully these roads have been plowed very well. The berms are huge, but the roads are really good. On the left hand side we have a Seventh-day Adventist church. Oh, we're gonna get a pretty view. The mountains are not in the fog, yay! So we are driving up Eagle River Valley now, so we are going to pretty soon have mountains on the right-hand side and the left-hand side. On the right-hand side, behind the trees here, we have a middle school for Eagle River. There are actually two middle schools. This one is called Bruni. We had a big earthquake a few years ago and this one got shut down for several years to have to be rebuilt after that earthquake. They had to move the kids into the high school for several years. On the left hand side is where we go to church. This is the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. I have had people ask how many members of the church there are in Alaska. There are around 33,000 people that go to church in Alaska that are members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. That I don't know what the number is here in Eagle River, but this is one of two church buildings that we have in Eagle River. So that'll just give you an idea. Mark and the boys came and did the snowblower on all the sidewalks here yesterday. So that was their little act of service yesterday. After we went to the airplane, they came and cleared off these sidewalks so that they will be ready for church on Sunday and now we will go back and get on the main road and head a little bit further up the valley. Like I said before this is heading up Eagle River Valley. We are on Eagle River Road and you will notice here that we have our Walmart. One thing that is not up on the mountain here is there are no places to get gas. You have to go all the way down back into Eagle River to get gas, which I think is an oversight on someone's part. I think that they could, someone could put a gas station in up here that would service all the people that live up Eagle River Valley and it would do really, really well. This Walmart probably has some of the most beautiful views of any Walmart that at least I've been to. It is so gorgeous. If you look, we have, since I'm stopped at a stoplight, we do have mountains on both sides of us from this point on to the right and the left because to the right of us, to the right of us is 
the Eagle River, the actual river. If you were to turn right here, this is the third entrance into Eagle River. You can take this and go over a bridge and get back to the Glen Highway that takes you into Anchorage or up to Palmer. I'm just gonna take us a little ways up this gorgeous valley because it is just so beautiful. So Walmart here on our right. We don't need to go to Walmart today, but it does have some of the most beautiful views. So I am gonna turn into the parking lot just to show you how pretty it is. Show you these mountains on the right hand side because I don't think we'll be able to see them very well while we're driving. Isn't that just gorgeous? Just take a quick little detour through the Walmart parking lot. This is like a medium sized Walmart. I wouldn't call it a super Walmart. The first thing you see on the left here is the wine and spirits. Alcohol has to be sold in a separate part of the store. And this one actually has a completely different entrance you cannot get to from the store. This also has a Papa John's pizza in it. It has some groceries. It actually has a really good grocery section. Um, and then it has like the sporting equipment and pharmacy and home store. So it's not like a jumbo Walmart, but it's not small either. We're gonna drive around this parking lot and just appreciate the amazing piles of snow that they have pushed out of this parking lot. Look how huge they are. We could come sledding here, they're so big. I don't know if the perspective shows, but these are like 20 feet tall and they're 100 feet deep. Wow, these plow guys have been so busy. Good for them, good job. They are doing an amazing job making it so that we can still come to the store and drive up and down the roads. They, I think they've been getting some negative feedback just because it's taken a long time, but there's just been so much snow. I think they're doing an amazing job. All right, let's head up the valley just a little bit more. I'll explain what's up here, and then we will turn back around and finish our tour of the city part of Eagle River. This end of the parking lot also has some snow mountains and that gorgeous view. I think the fog is just making it even more beautiful the fog and the sunrise and the ice crystals on everything it's just making it gorgeous it is about an eight to ten minute drive from Eagle River up to where we are right now depending on road conditions and you know summer road construction some of these roads get get closed down we're gonna take a right and continue our way up Eagle River Valley they have gotten more snow up here than we got down at the bottom of the hill. There are a lot of homes up here in this valley and very few actual stores. Pretty much from here on, there are just homes, schools, probably a few churches hidden in here, and only one business that I can think of. There is a garden center up here that has a huge amount of greenhouses but other than that all of your commerce is back down in Eagle River but they do sure have nice views some problems that people have living up here in Eagle River Valley are shadows sometimes depending on where you live that you could be in the shadow of a mountain where you do not get direct sunlight for several months and that can be really hard in the winter time so that's something that you have to consider when you have mountains around you and the sun doesn't go very high in the sky in the winter time you could be in the dark for a while this really is just a beautiful drive so i'm going to just keep driving for a little while so that we can just get the full view of how gorgeous this Eagle River Valley is. Especially with this sunshine and the frost and the snow. But I don't want to go too far and get myself stuck where I can't get out. We'll, we 
will assess whether or not the condition of the road deteriorates. On the right hand side here is the PM Gardens that I was talking about. They have tons of greenhouses. Oh my goodness, it is gorgeous. Oh, I will have to pull in there on our way back. I wasn't paying attention. At the end of this road, about another, I want to say 10 miles, it may be, I'll have to look that up, it may be a little bit less than that, is the Eagle River Nature Center. It is a building where they have, it's pretty much just a little building that then has a bunch of hiking trails and boardwalks and beautiful views. It is a great place to take people if you want to see moose and bears in the summertime. This is a great place to drive because you often will see wildlife along this road, but oh my goodness, you guys, we are getting a treat. It is just so beautiful. So beautiful. I love this view of the mountains. When we were looking for houses, we almost bought a house up here in Eagle River Valley. Um, it was a long ways up here. We're kind of glad that we did it. We really like where we live right now. Um, this is a little bit trickier to navigate up here, especially in snowstorms. If you live on the left-hand side of this road, you are often going at a pretty steep angle to get to your house, and a lot of the driveways ha are on a hill. And that's one thing that Mark and I didn't ever really want was a driveway on a hill, either up or down, because if it gets icy, um, you have to really stay on top of your driveway, even more than we have to right now. It just makes it really, really, really tricky. The amazing thing is that at the end of this road, there is a pass that people hike, it's called the Crow Creek Pass, and people make it in a one day hike. You can also take it several days to do it. If I did it, I would wanna take several days to do it. But they are hiking to Girdwood, which you have probably, if you've been around for a while, Girdwood is about an hour and a half drive out along the coast. But when you go up, like as the bird flies, it's actually not that far to Girdwood. But when you drive, you have to go out and around. Um, but people do this hike, you actually have to cross the river. So it's a bit dangerous, um, but it's kind of like a rite of passage to do the Crow Creek Pass um, in a day and do this phenomenal hike. Not something I'm interested in. I'm not a huge hiker. And if I do hike, I like to do it at a very leisurely pace and stop along the way. Maybe that's just because I have kids and I'm used to just going at their pace, but maybe as they're getting older, we will attempt to do like an overnight backpacking trip up here because I think it would be worth it. I just don't want to have to do it fast. This road right here is where we looked at a house thought we wanted to buy it but thankfully we didn't and we ended up finding our house about six or eight months later that we are living in currently. We were living in Anchorage at the time and had spent no time up here in Eagle River and so we were just it has breathtaking views and we were kind of swept up in it but it was not the right house for us so I'm glad that we waited. Okay I am now looking for a place to turn around because I don't want to go all the way to the nature center, but it is just gorgeous up here. On the right hand side, it slopes down and goes down to the river. On the left hand side, it slopes up and goes up to the mountains. Okay, let's see if we can find a place to turn around. Oh, we're just gonna keep going a little bit more because it's just gorgeous up here. The road is deteriorating though, so I am going to try and find a place here that I can turn around without getting myself into any trouble. But man, it's pretty. Oh, 
Oh, perfect. They have a place right here that I can turn around. Woo! Look at that view. I think I'm going to stop and do a thumbnail because that is gorgeous. Hold on. Okay. Glad they had this big area to turn around. I'm just going to drive and let you guys enjoy the view until we make it back down to Walmart. area when you go to Walmart these are the flowers they're selling but look at that view there's actually a ton of greenhouses down the hill from here these are just the greenhouses that are open to the public and then down the hill they have a lot more that they have filled with flowers and plants and trees and things okay we're just gonna do a little loop here and then head back up pass up that gorgeous sunshine view. Alright, coast is clear. I was afraid I wasn't going to be able to do this video because I was thinking that the snow was going to be too bad, but they've done a good job plowing the roads, so we can do our tour of Eagle River. up on camera but ahead of us is the inlet and then on the other side of the inlet there are mountains but right now because of the fog those mountains look like they are floating in the air it is so cool it's just so pretty driving up on that road right now it's kind of better if you have four-wheel drive to go up there okay 
we are continuing our way back down. This is called Eagle River Loop Road. We've looped around. There's a church on our right called Skyline Church. I'm not sure what denomination it is. And then we have a Peace Lutheran Church and Preschool up here on the hill to the right. And then we just have a bunch of neighborhoods until we get back down into Eagle River. This hill is pretty steep right here. If you are not careful, you get going way too fast. You want to make sure that you're pumping your brakes so that you don't just fly down this hill. Right here at the bottom of this hill is my favorite store called Revive Home Market. You may have seen me go and do a tour of that before. It is right here. There's also a store called Alaska Chicks, which sells like sweatshirts and hats and things like that. Ooh, somebody has left a cloud down here. On the right hand side is also the Elks Club. Oh, Revive is actually open today. It looks really busy. People are Christmas shopping. On the left-hand side is Trustworthy Hardware. That is a hardware store, a local hardware store here. And on the right is called Cozy Interiors. It's probably the only furniture store other than Fred Meyer and Walmart here in Eagle River. Otherwise, you have to go to Anchorage. We do have a little sporting goods called Boondocks here on the right that sells some sports equipment and some... Um, guns and things like that. Oh my goodness, the fog has settled in. Well, luckily we got a pretty good tour. I'm gonna turn left here. We're gonna finish our tour down this old Glen Highway. This is where we started, but we went, but right here where we are, we turned and went down to the post office and the gym and the library. We're now gonna turn left just so we can hit and see what else is on this main drag here in Eagle River. Then we'll head back and go to Fred Meyer because I need to do a little bit of shopping for tonight's activity that I'm going to bring you along because it's going to be fun. So stick around till the end of the video if you want to see what we're doing today. All right. On the left-hand side, we have Matanuska Brewing Company. That is a local brewery slash restaurant. On the right here in the fog, we have our McDonald's, which closed down for almost two years after the big earthquake we had several years ago. So it is brand spanking new. We have a Pizza Hut, we have an Arby's. On the left-hand side, we have a small DMV here in Alaska. The DMV is the Department of Motor Vehicle if you need to register your car. On the left-hand side, we have a Starbucks and another local coffee place, Sleepy Dog Coffee Roasters lots of little coffee things. I think they need their own video. If you'd like to see a video about Alaskans and their love for coffee and I would I think that would be a fun video that's been on my list for a while. And now we are back to where we went up towards Walmart. So we have made our way through Eagle River. I am going to go and cross the highway because I want to show you one more thing that I know a few of our viewers would be interested in seeing. In this drive we turned left at this light and went up towards Walmart. We are now going to go straight and go across the highway. There is an overpass across the Glen Highway. Oh my goodness, I don't even know if I can show you what I was wanting to show you. It is so foggy over here, but we're going to go check it out. We're going to take a left here. We are going to go check out St. Andrew's Catholic Church. We'll just do a little drive-by. I know some of our viewers are Catholic and thought you might be interested in seeing the Catholic Church here in Eagle River. It's a beautiful building if we can see it with all this fog. Okay, now 
now we get to go through a, a snow maze. Hopefully we can... The building is kind of white, so with all this snow and the fog, it's, almost, it's a bit hard to see. The Catholic Church gets out at the same time we get out of church, and so we're kind of coming down the hill in opposite directions. And here is St. Anthony's. Ooh, beautiful stained glass on the other side. Ooh, they have a heated sidewalk here. You can see it's melted. That is nice for people walking in and out. Okay. That was a fun little detour. Oh my goodness, this fog is crazy. ahead of us. They were so beautiful just a few minutes ago. I think my timing on our drive was just right. So this is all area I've already showed you, but now we're just going to be looking at it in reverse. <coughs> on the left hand side here we do have another church called the ACF Church. I'm not sure what ACF stands for. Is a Christian church. They call themselves maybe non-denominational Christians, I think. We do have another Baptist church here on the right. And we're just going to drive carefully here through Eagle River, Wells Fargo Bank on the left. So Fred Meyer is the third store that we have in Eagle River. So we have Walmart, Cars, and Fred Meyer. Fred Meyer is a Kroger brand store. So if you have Kroger's or Albertsons, I even think, they have a bunch of stores. Ralph's, Fred Meyer is owned by the same company. It is not just a grocery store. They do sell home goods. They sell clothes. They sell outdoor equipment. They do not sell guns like Walmart. Um, they do have like a garden center so you can come buy plants in the summertime. This Fred Meyer has been under construction for the last about eight months, probably, I don't even know. I've, I've lost all track of time. And so I have avoided it at all costs because I cannot find anything when I come in here, but we are going, I think they are nearing the end of their construction. We are going to go check it out today. 
This Fred Meyer also has a Starbucks inside. They also have sushi. That's actually pretty good that we like. I'm just buying a few odds and ends here today. So I'm going to take you along. This is actually one of my favorite places to buy rugs. I have found so many good rugs here. I have this rug in my bathroom. Love it. My entryway rugs are from here. My living room rug is from here. You gotta get creative when you live in Alaska and find rugs. I have this rug. <laughs> I'm realizing a lot of my rugs are from here. These. these are all so cute, but what is this? A mini pie maker. And an egg cooker. And a popcorn ball maker. What is all this stuff? And an egg bite maker. I thought you could just do those in a pan, but lots of fun little things. Oh, I have thought this would be good. A pancake batter bottle squeezer. Anyways, they have cookware here too. Okay, we just need a few things. There's no specific list and just have an idea. So let's go see what we can find. You might catch on to what you think we were gonna do. Leave it down in the comments if you have a guess. I do like to buy milk here because it's cheaper, but they don't have very much milk. Empty. I think with all the snowstorms, there may be some shortages. The problem here is, I don't know where anything is, so I can just do a lot of wandering. They've just changed it so much, and I, I refuse to learn where everything is until they're completely done, because then I'll figure it all out. But they've just like been doing it section by section, so what, the minute you think you know where something is, they move it again. We're gonna get some pretzel sticks. Some pretzel snaps and some rods. Find anything? Grab some lady fingers, some fudge stripes, some mini Nilla wafers. Some big Nilla wafers, some sugar cones, and I grabbed some golden grams. Well, my camera died, but I think I pretty much showed you everything that I was going to show you in Fred Meyer. You'll have to wait and see what we're doing with it tonight. You'll, it'll all come back out. So let's head home. I'll chat with you about my doctor's appointment, and then we will do tonight's fun activity. Just made it home. This is just, the amount of snow here is just incredible. We, these berms that, uh, honestly, it is almost all the way to the top of my garden. Hopefully the garden will be okay. I just happened to see this amazing spider web while I was pulling in. It is covered with frost. Look how incredible that is. I don't know if I've ever seen something like that. I grabbed the paper bag, but we all know those break immediately. So we're gonna transfer everything into a good shopping bag. See, it's already, ah, it's ripping. It knows I hate it, it's ripping. Actually, all that stuff can stay in the car. I'm just gonna grab the milk. That's all going with us tonight. Hello, Miss Luna. I don't even want to touch her. My hands are so cold and she looks so nice and cozy in her favorite spot on the back of the couch. I came home and just like devoured lunch. Total mix mash of leftovers, sweet potatoes, black beans, meat and veggies. It was just all so good. <laughs> I was so hungry. Anyways, doctor's appointment. Here's what's been going down. Over the past year here on YouTube, I've had several really kind people reach out and tell me that my thyroid looks enlarged. They themselves had had thyroid issues and just said, hey, 
please get it checked out because I wouldn't want you to have to go through what I've gone through. So I appreciate people reaching out with those messages. So what I did was I brought it up when I went to my OB appointment about a month ago. She said, okay, it looks a little enlarged. Let's test it in your blood work. Took my blood work. The only thing I was deficient in is vitamin D. So I've started taking some vitamin D, but my thyroid looked fine. But she did order me an ultrasound. So a few weeks ago, I went and had an ultrasound done on my thyroid, on my neck. And those results came back that there was a bit of an enlargement, but nothing that looked terrible. Since it was my OB that had ordered the test, um, they called me back and said, hey, these are the results. They said, come back in six months, but you need to get an actual doctor to be your provider to for continued care. Being a busy mom of four, I have put off for years having my own doctor. I just have never done it. I have an OB that I love when I'm pregnant. I go in for a yearly checkup with the OB, but I have never actually had a doctor. If I am sick, I have gone to urgent care. So I challenged myself to find an actual doctor to follow up with this thyroid issue to make sure everything was okay. So a few weeks ago, I made an appointment. Today was the appointment. The doctor was wonderful. I really thought she had good bedside manner and she was really easy to talk to. I explained my history of childbirth, of my recent weight loss, of my concerns with certain things and she listened very well we had a great discussion about my health and things that will help and we did some more blood work for the thyroid just to be certain we are going to get it checked out again in six months so at this point the ultrasound was just to have a baseline and then we're just gonna see if anything changes but thankfully nothing that she's really concerned about we did do another blood draw just to check a few more things that weren't checked by the OB but I think that for now we are good. I do not have any other symptoms, but she did tell me symptoms to look for if there was a problem with the thyroid or with Hashimoto's or other things associated with the thyroid, which I think we're okay for right now, but I am grateful that we have some baseline data now. So going forward, I will be meeting with her at least once a year to get a physical and make sure that I am taking care of myself. She was very honest and direct with me. So I know that if there were certain things that I was not doing, she would tell me that I needed to do them. As I have interacted with all of you, I have realized how precious life is, how quickly things can change. Um, not to take my health for granted. You have shared with me so many stories of miracles that you were diagnosed and that you're on the road to recovery or when you need prayers because you are in the thick of your diagnosis. And so I appreciate those connections and I'm going to try and take better care of myself. And I would challenge you, if you haven't been to the doctor, to try and just get a checkup and make sure you just, you know, Take care of ourselves as moms. I think we sometimes put ourselves on the back burner. So I've started going to the dermatologist. Now I have a doctor and I've been going to the OB. So those are the things for me that are most important right now. And I feel really relieved that I am doing those things for myself. And I'm grateful to all of you for kind of the push through your comments and questions to do that for myself and for my family. So love you guys. I got a few things to get done and then I will see you for tonight's festivities. Let's go outside. The snow is falling down and every child is having so much fun. A snowman is twice the size as me with a smile as quirky as mine. We're holding hands to keep each other warm while we stand. And watch a choir performing all the Christmas songs that we love. Yeah, all the Christmas songs that we love. And in a while, we're gonna go inside and drink our chocolate by the fire. Cause all I want is to spend this day with you. Let me give you a Christmas. A moment we'll fill with love and joy. Mm -mm, so beautiful, kissing on a mistletoe's baby. As I spend this day with you, mm -mm, so beautiful, kissing on a mistletoe, baby, with you. Ooh, I'm making 
plans What we're gonna do I feel so blessed That I can be with you Cause God knows that I've been longing for ya I just wanna hold you close You know the stars are shining just for you Let's take a walk And we can follow the moonlight Till we reach a place we can stay Maybe kiss a bit and dream away And in a while we're gonna go inside And drink our chocolate by the fire Cause all I want is to spend this day with you Let me give you a Christmas A moment we'll fill with love and joy Mm-mm, So beautiful, kissing on a mistletoe's baby with you I don't need any presents As long as I spend this day with you Mm-mm, So beautiful, kissing on a mistletoe's baby with you Chocolate by the fire Cause all I want is to spend this day with you Let me give you a Christmas A moment we'll fill with love and joy Love and so beautiful Kissing on a mistletoe's baby with you I don't need any presents As long as I spend this day with you Well, friends, we made it home safely. It was about eight degrees at my sister's house, and then as we were driving home, the temperature just kept dropping and dropping, and when we got to our house, it was negative five degrees. So, glad to have a warm house to come home to. Uh, we had so much fun making gingerbread houses. Each one of them is fun and unique. Um, I have to say, I don't remember making gingerbread houses as a child. I don't know if we ever did it, but as an adult, I really, really enjoy it. I don't know, there's just something about it that I just relax and have a really good time. And um, this year was no different. I love how this turned out. It's very rustic looking. Uh, these rocks that I found at Fred Meyer today were amazing. The cereal, the lady fingers. Oh, here's Inspector Luna. She had to come and check it out. Inspector Luna here. I had to come see what Mama was doing. Oh, that's good. We didn't want to finish the video without you. Anyways, I ended up using the pretzels, the rocks, the lady fingers up here, these little square pretzels, vanilla wafers. Uh, the frosting I made was actually fantastic. It worked so well, so I will include that recipe down below. Um, these were the fudge shop cookies I got. Anyways, I love it, but I also love the kids. I love this, I love this, I love that. I just love seeing how everybody's turned out. It's just so fun. Thank you for spending time with me today. We are so grateful for each and every one of you that spends time with us here on the channel. We love you and we hope that you're having a wonderful holiday season and we will see you again real soon for more of This Alaska Life. It's hard getting kids to bed after they have gone crazy eating candy and hanging out with cousins they haven't seen for weeks. They were wild. <laughs>